coming through. Welcome in. I saw a comment the other day that said something along the lines of, we know that there's a way to get Shadowheart to choose her parents. We're just unsure of how to get her to do it. Or the community's divided on how to get her to do it. So I decided to make a video on the easiest way that I've found for Shart to make the decision on her own without me persuading her to save her parents. my hunting ground. I might be responsible. So the first thing that we do is we go to the graveyard and we go all the way to the back and there is some gravestones on the right side and you click on the one that says Alistair Marnley and you'll notice that an exclamation pops up and you'll have a conversation with Shadowheart about it. Thorg, fighter, lost in Durlag's tower. We couldn't recover your body, so we buried your ten-foot pole. Alistair Manley, taken too soon. I understand. I will do what I can. That name on the tombstone before, it meant nothing to me, yet I felt a pang of loss all the same. You'd be surprised. Not all of us don robes in dark armor. Some people live perfectly normal lives on the surface, blending in utterly, so that they can serve the Dark Lady in utter secrecy. And not every skill that the Dark Lady asks of her followers can be taught in the shadows. Some can only be mastered on the streets, in daylight, amidst crowds. Lying, tailing, observing without being seen, Picking a purse without being felt. I think I must have been sent to learn all these things from the man in that grave. Alistair Manley. Sounds human, and the grave wasn't recent. He must have died some time ago. And I mourned him already. He'd surely not have been buried here if he was exposed. He must have taken the secret of his faith to the grave. Undiscovered. A very Sharan ending. Then, after that conversation is over, you will go to the Baldur's Gate portal and you'll run down that path all the way to where the dock is. Sometimes you have to run all the way to the water to get it to trigger, but then you'll notice also that another exclamation mark appears above Shadowheart's head. That graffiti from before, I never thought I'd see it again. Well, I think I was the one who did it. I can recognize my own handwriting. How long ago was this? Years? All the time I spent training, hidden away from the world. I think... I think I must have wanted to leave my mark somewhere, just to prove I existed, even to myself. Baldur's Gate. It's amazing how a place I don't truly remember feels so familiar. Just wandering the streets is causing little things to come back to me. Just the barest crumbs of memories, but still. I suppose when you're famished, a crumb is a feast. Honestly, and don't laugh, it's the smells. I never thought I'd be so glad to be greeted by the waft of docks and alleyways. It doesn't dredge up any specifics, just a feeling I can't quite define. But it's a comforting feeling, all the same. And then from there, I go and I 
have the confrontation with Viconia, ends up in a fight, no and no. you have the door open to her Tell parents, them. and now you'll Tell see how that plays out. Tell them how the Night Singer has blessed me. I shall stand with Shadowheart. So be it. A traitor's end awaits you all. These are the desperate lies of trapped vermin, nothing more. You are deluded, girl. I'm not here to convince you, mother. You are already disgraced in Lady Shah's eyes. I merely wish to give the others a chance to repent before they are dragged down with you. A coup attempt? Shadowheart will need all the help she can get if she's to win over the remaining diehards from Viconia's ranks. Viconia would have you hide down here, oblivious to the true danger. The Absolute must be stopped, and only I can lead you. Lady Shah has decreed it. The Absolute will be dealt with as soon as I prize the artifact from your cold fingers. Enough talk, girl. The sooner we finish this, the sooner your blood can be sluiced off Lady Shah's sacred grotto. Enough speeches. The odds are already in my favor. Do you think the Dark Lady would want you to die for a lost cause? Or show some cunning and live another day? No matter. I built this place from nothing. I can always start anew once you've been dealt with. You were right about one thing. Lady Shah's church does need to be cleansed. By my hand! Lady Shah can only hope for mercy. My chosen. Just as I wished them to. Their wrong-headed resolve allowed me to shape you. But I need not tell you. I can show you. It is time to remember. Time to remember everything. You find yourself thrust into Shadowheart's mind. But it's different than before. There's more. More than you or she can comprehend. A flood of restored memories, finished thoughts, revealed secrets.
What have you done to them? We, child. We did this to them together. My power and your will. Jennifer? Jen? Is that you? Why do you look so tall? It's not her, Em. It's just another trick. Another way to hurt us. It's me. I'm Jennifer. Jennifer is no more. She never left those dark woods. It was Shadowheart who emerged. This woman gave birth to you. But I made you. I am your mother. A sacrifice is not a sacrifice if it has no meaning. This is the final step. Snuff out the last embers of your old life so that you could finally be who you were meant to be. Kill them. For me. Then I will take the memories away from you again. Loss will heal you. And you will be my right hand at last. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room. The dream is sleep. The shadows shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer. Until you find your way back to my embrace. Do you remember your training, child? I know you do. All the times you stood in this room, wondering why this pair seemed so familiar. All the times you honed your skills on them, they remember everything. The pain, the pleading, their torturer wearing their daughter's face. End their nightmare. Give them peace. right. Have I ever known what that truly is? Do your duty. This one final trial. Then you will be whole. No! You've already brought me to what I need. My family. My real family. Don't anger her, Jen. Just get out. Save yourself. I am saving myself. Leaving this place, and I'm taking my parents with me. So much was done to mold you, and still you turn your back on me for two strangers that you share blood with. Go then. Leave. The dark will still be waiting, but keep some memories as a parting gift. You learned so much, applying your skills to these two. Now you can remember it all, whenever you look upon their faces. I... I did that. How did I do that to them? So many times. You showed great promise, but no more. When the darkness finally comes for you again, it will not be my welcoming embrace. It will be a hungry moor. Then nothing. Farewell. I... I hurt you both. So much. Gods forgive me. There is nothing to forgive. You did what was necessary to survive. And you came back to us. What more could a mother want? I will be. Once we get clear of this place, 
Do what you need to, Jen. We can follow your trail. <laughs> Once we've rested a little, the Moon Maiden still guides us. Can't give up now. Everything that's happened. Shah. My parent. It's almost too much to take in. Give me a night to try and get my head together. <laughs>